היי גייז! Today you will have a closer look at Plateau from Valley, a beautiful and lush plate reverb, which is much more than just a reverb. Let's start! Okay, so first of all I want to say that Plateau is an instrument by itself, capable of adding lots of interest to your sound, and it's anything else than just another reverb. If you follow my channel, you can see that since it was released, Plateau was in 95% of my videos. I love this module and how it sounds. So like I said, Plateau is a plate reverb, so let's have a short look at what is a plate reverb and how this specific one works. A plate reverb in the real world will have some sort of a metal plate, and the sound will hit this plate and cause the plate to resonate. This vibration of the plate will be added to the dry sound, and we get our plate reverb. I will put also a link in the description to a video by Leo Makes where he builds a plate reverb from an IKEA table. So if you find it interesting and you want to go more in depth of how a plate reverb works, go check it out. Now we can see here in the diagram the signal flow of plateau. The input will hit first the pre-delay, which will delay the time of the sound actually hitting the plate, and it has a range from 0 to 500 milliseconds. So here I have a nice snare sound. And we can already hear the reverb itself, and let's add some pre-delay. So all the way to the left it's a 0 milliseconds of course, let's go somewhere to the middle. You can hear the delay all the way up. Very nice. The pre-delay has also a CV input, so we can modulate it, and in the right-click menu, we can choose between two sensitivity settings and change the range of modulation, since we don't have a dedicated attenuator. We also have the dry and wet knobs, which will determine how much of the original sound we want to hear and how much of the reverbed sound. And again, also here we have CV inputs, this time we dedicated a 10 verters. So all the way to the right means 100%, so if I take the dry sound out, we hear just the wet sound. We can make it also 100% wet, only wet. Add some dry sound, take the wet signal out. After the pre-delay, the sound goes through two filters, low cut and high cut, so we can filter the incoming signal before it hits the plate, take out the low and high frequencies, and also here we have CV inputs with dedicated a 10 new verters. So again, this is our snare. I can cut its low frequencies before it hits the plate or the high frequencies very nice then the sound goes through four all-pass filters which will diffuse the reverb which means that the sound will get smeared and be less sharp and by using this button here we can choose to turn off the diffusion and with the diffusion knob we can control the diffusion amount when turned off we will hear the sound echoing so again this is with diffusion i can choose the amount of diffusion also And you can hear really the sound echoing, like a delay. Let's turn it off, and this is a really nice effect now. This is really cool. By modulating this parameter here, this function, we can get really nice effects. Very nice. After this, the sound will go to the reverberation tank, which contains two filter chains, which are feeding back to one another and diffusing the signal even more. We can cut the low and high frequencies of the reverb by using the reverb filter knobs and their dedicated CV inputs. So again, this is our snare. 
And now we can cut the low or high frequencies after um, the sound hits the plate, so the reverbed sound. Or the high. And we also have two options for controlling the length of the reverb, size and decay. Again, with dedicated CV inputs and a 10 new verters. So this is our snare. Let's take the size down. And this is really nice also with the fusion off. That's a really nice effect. So we have a large size, but a short decay. Or we can go the other way around, small size and a longer decay. You can really hear the, um, the metal. <laughs> it sounds so cool. And then we have the LFOs section, which will modulate the all-pass filters in the reverberation tank. And let's actually start building a patch and see how the modulation affects the sound. Okay, so let's start by creating a nice sequence using stages from mutable instruments. We will set a four-step sequence just by clicking this button here. We set it to yellow mode, which is sequence mode. If you want to know more about stages, I will put a link in the description to a video I made about it. It's a beautiful, interesting, excellent module. So now let's take the glide off by turning this knob here to the left. And let's set a sequence. Let's say it starts all the way down, goes a bit up, then again all the way down, and then a bit more, something like this. And let's drive stages with a multiplied clock, every clock multiplied by two. So let's send this to the gate input of our first um, step. Now the range of each step um, of stages is from zero to positive eight volts. And we want to use this voltage for controlling pitch. So eight volts equal eight octaves, which is way too much. So let's use an attenuator to reduce this range. I will use the fundamental VCA and I will close it something like this is okay. And let's see, let's send the signal from the stages, of course, to the VCA. And I will also want to quantize the voltage. So let's add quantum from ML and set the three notes of the D minor triad. So we will start with the tonic, which is D, then jump to the minor third, which is F, and then go to the perfect fifth, which is A, and send the signal from the VCA to quantum. Let's turn on also the cables so we can see what's going on. So now we have D, F and A and no matter what we set on stages we will only get those three notes across the different octaves. And now let's use two voices. I will use two FM operators which I really love. Let's see, let's duplicate this one and let's activate the envelope for the level of the oscillators by clicking this button here. Um, the FM operators have a built-in uh, built envelope that can control the level, the feedback amount or the um, FM depth. Let's turn the sustain all the way down, both oscillators, because I want something a bit more plucky. And let's turn the attack also almost all the way down but just almost because I don't want these clicks in the sound. So just raise it a bit. Very nice. Now I will want to have one oscillator playing seven semitones higher in pitch. So let's use the pitch tools module from 21 kilohertz. I will put it here in the middle. And let's raise the pitch by seven semitones and send the signal from quantum once to the first oscillator and once through the pitch tools module to the second oscillator. 
Very nice. Now, because we have the level envelope activated, we will need a gate to trigger the envelope and get sound. So let's use the gate coming out of quantum to both gate inputs of the oscillators. And let's add the plateau. Of course, very nice. And let's send um, the oscillators to plateau. Okay, and before we listen to this, let's take the wet signal all the way down um, so we can edit slowly and listen to how it sounds like. So let's send this now to the mixer. This is our sequence. And let's start adding some uh, reverb. Oh yeah. Take the decay a bit down, just a bit. What a beautiful sounding reverb. Let's take the low frequencies out just a bit from the input. There are not so many, so, but just a bit. Let's add some pre-delay. Let's listen to this shortly without diffusion. See this effect. Sounds like a short delay, really nice. Let's add some pre-delay now, okay. Okay, very nice. Now before we change the modulation settings of Plateau, let's make the sequence a bit more inst interesting by first of all, modulating the feedback amount of the oscillators. And for this, we will use the two segments um, we have three on stages, so let's turn them to LFOs by clicking and holding this button here until it blinks. So now we have two LFOs, let's uh, reduce their frequency or lower their frequency. And let's modulate the feedback amount of the oscillators. So first of all I will see um, when we connect something to the feedback input of the FM operator, the feedback knob becomes an attenuator. So let's set the maximum value we want, somewhere here, and send the first LFO to it. Do the same with the second oscillator. I guess uh, very nice, something here. Okay, now another thing we can do is transpose the sequence to get some more variation. So let's use constants from ML and the fundamental sequential switch. Okay, constants will output a constant voltage in steps of semitones and the sequential switch will be our sequencer. So we will use three steps and to the third step we will send positive seven semitones. So every time the sequential switch hits the third step Quantum will transpose its notes by seven semitones. Let's use a divided clock to run the sequential switch every clock divided by 16. Let's send the reset also to the clock. Very nice. And let's send the signal to the transpose input of quantum. Yes, very, very nice. Let's listen to this one more time. Yeah, wow, this reverb plateau is absolutely amazing. Okay, so now that we have a nice sequence, we can start using the modulation functions of Plateau. And for this, we have three knobs. We have the modulation rate. And um, let me just zoom in a bit, you know what? So we can see this, very nice. So we have the modulation rate for um, increasing or decreasing the frequency of the LFOs. We have the modulation shape from triangle in the center to sawtooth wave on the right, an inverted ramp on the left, and we have the modulation depth 
for controlling the amount of modulation and of course all knobs have their own dedicated CV inputs and attenuators. So let's really see how this modulation affects the sound. First of all I will raise the modulation depth so we can really hear it. And now when I raise the modulation rate, the frequency of the LFOs, we can hear how the pitch is really going crazy. Let's listen also just to the wet sound. This is just the reverb now. So this is what the modulation is doing, but in a slow uh, rate, it sounds really lo lots of movement. This detuning is adding so much motion to the sound. Very nice. Okay, so now um, there are two more functions of Plateau that I want to show you. The first one is Tuned Mode. In Tuned Mode, the delay times are short and the all pass filters will follow one volt per octave. So we can really play the reverb and add lots of cool effects and weird sounds. So let's really, let's duplicate Stages and the VCA and Quantum. And let's use a multiplied by 4 clock this time. I have it here to drive the second stages. Very nice. And let's see. Let's use... Um, let's send first of all stages to the VCA and to Quantum. And let's see. As a voice, let's use Plets. Or the second macro oscillator from Audible Instruments. Let's change the sound to wave shaping oscillator. It's the second one. And let's send the signal from Quantum to plates. Then also the trigger. And send the signal from the sequential switch to transpose uh, to the transpose input of Quantum. So this uh, Quantum will also be transposed together with the first one. Now, let's add another um, plateau. I will initialize it. And let's send plates to plateau and to the mixer. Let's listen just to this for a second. Okay, and let's listen now to how tuned mode sounds like. I will click here, I will activate it by clicking this button here. We can already hear something. Let's add some modulation. And now by playing, I will zoom in again. By playing with the um, size and decay, we can create really nice effects. And I found it that it works um, better, or to, to me it sounds better without diffusion, so we'll just turn it off. And now we can find a certain note we want to emphasize. Let's turn the wet also. Somewhere here there are some sweet spots we have to find. Of course we can also modulate it and create really crazy effects. But I think in this patch it will not sound so nice, so let's see. I think somewhere here... Somewhere here it's nice, let's take the lows a bit out from the reverb itself. Okay, now let's listen to this without the reverb, so I'll take the wet signal out. This is the original sound. Not so exciting. But with Plateau, with Tuned Mode on, sounds like this. Together with the first voice. Very cool. We can also add another plateau 
to add some, uh, let's call it normal reverb to this sound. So let's do this. Something like this maybe. Yeah. Yes, okay, now another function I want to show you is the hold, um, hold and clear functions. Let's again create another voice and listen to how this sounds like. So let's use Topograph. This is also from Valley and it's actually the VCV version of uh, Grids for Mutable Instruments. And let's use the multiplied by four clock to run it. I will set the clock to external and change the clock resolution to 4 ppqn. And we will use two snare drum modules from Hora. Those are free available modules. Two of those. They sound amazing. And let's trigger them with topograph. Let's run topograph first and send the trigger to the trigger and the accent to the accent input. Let's change the map also of topograph a bit, something like this. Add chaos, take the fills a bit down, just a bit. Very nice. And let's send them through another plateau to the mixer. Okay, now by the way, both channels of a plateau are normal, so when using a mono signal it will be sent to both channels of the reverb, you don't have to um, send it to the left and to the right. Um, just, this was just by the way, but let's take now the noise of the snares out, I want this sound here. And let's change their tone all the way up, so they are nice and high. And now let's use the hold and clear functions. Uh, the hold function will set the reverb to have infinite length. Let's listen just, listen just to this for a second. Uh, let's see. Okay. So you can hear the reverb really um, going crazy. Okay. And the clear function will clear the reverb and reset it. Can create really gated reverbs. Both have dedicated trigger inputs, and the hold function is also a toggle mode. So when the toggle mode is on, we can just click once and the reverb and the hold is on, click another time and the hold is off. Um, okay, so now let's modulate both of them and create this moving breathing effect. For this I will use branches. Let's see if it goes in here. The Bernoulli gate. Again, audible instrument. Let's use a clock multiplied by two. This, what am I doing? This one here. Okay, and send the output A to the hold function and output B to the clear function. Oh yeah. So you can hear the effect. Let's add all the other voices. Very nice. Let's add a kick also just for fun. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I will use Tremor from Volt. Let's uh, trigger it from our main clock. Let's take the bend a bit down so it's not so sharp into the mixer. Yes. 
and maybe also a quick bass. Let's see, let's take the even VCO and tangents. Tangents is also from Vult, a beautiful filter. Let's take the octaves down, send the sawtooth wave to the low pass input of tangents. We also have to tune the oscillator because we are using D, the uh, D minor key, let's say, or scale. And let's see, let's uh, tune the oscillator to D. I'm using the fine tune here, very nice. And let's send this to the mixer. Raise the resonance, lower the cutoff. Yeah. And we can also send the sequential switch to the volt per octave input of the bass, so they move together. Let's have a listen one, one more time. Very nice, okay, that was it guys, that was Plateau from Valley. Like always, there will be a link in the description to this patch, feel free to download it and have a closer look. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please hit the like button, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell, and have a good one.